If you play Destiny 2 and care about load time performance, this video is made for you. But I do have a word of warning. After watching, you may very well find yourself walking out the door to go upgrade to a solid state drive. But at the same time, no one could blame you if you settled on the fact that you prefer having a lot of storage space more than decreased load times. It's a hard sell when even a 1TB SSD will run you about 300 bucks. Consider this though. In Destiny 2, like the original, there are many load screens, and that means there's a lot of opportunity to cut back on load times. Shaving a few seconds off of a single load screen might not seem like a big deal, but consider the amount of seconds wasted each load screen, multiplied by the number of load screens each night, each week, and so on. Alright, to be fair, few people are going to notice the complete time savings over the long haul, so SSDs are best saved for those who demand the best possible everything from their gaming. And while this video focuses on Destiny 2, other games can see a similar benefit. I'll toss a link into the description below to a write-up I posted last year comparing many more games on hard drives and SSDs using the PS4 and PS4 Pro. Before I get into the results though, there are a couple of things I should clear up. It's a common misconception that SSDs are better for gaming because their throughput is so good. While it's true that SSDs are typically 5 times faster out of the box for megabytes per second reads and writes, it's actually the IOPS, or input-output operations per second, that can speed up games so much. Take for example the fact that a typical hard drive may be able to deliver 100 IOPS, whereas even a worn down SSD should deliver thousands of IOPS. That means individual pieces of data can be fetched much quicker and on a much grander scale. We're talking a fetch time of 10 milliseconds on a mechanical hard drive versus sub 1 millisecond on an SSD. So what's this mean for Destiny 2? Let's take a look. Alright, on the left we have the game installed on the same hard drive that was included with the PlayStation 4 Pro, and on the right the game is installed on a modest SSD that has had a fair amount of usage. A brand new out of the box SSD might fare even better than what I've shown here, but I think the results are a bit more realistic. SSDs experience degraded performance after a lot of use, so you can consider this a kind of worst case for the SSD, which should make the results all the more impressive. I should stress that the results shown in the video are not based on the actual run seen, because one-off tests are no way to get an accurate reading. Instead, I tested the load times 10 times over on both the hard drive and SSD, and then chose the three best runs for each, averaging them to come up with the results here. Admittedly, Bungie did hard drive users a massive favor by removing the requirement of having to go to orbit before moving on to another activity. That move alone already shaves off valuable seconds from what the load time could be like. Even so, plopping an SSD in the console can deliver some notable gains, even as much as 30 seconds saved after traveling to a couple of places. Again, this is minimal in the grand scheme, but if an SSD's limited storage space doesn't bother you, one solution is clearly better than the other. I mentioned before that SSDs carry a price premium, which will probably lead to the question, which SSD should I buy? If I were to personally order an SSD for my PS4 today, I'd go with Crucial's MX300. The 525GB version costs about $150, or much less if you happen to catch it on sale, and we've run two in test systems here for quite a while, and I can definitely attest that they will serve the purpose well. However, if you're able to score a better deal on an SSD, and that SSD hasn't been horribly reviewed, then you should probably go with it. SSDs have a point of diminishing returns, especially in the PlayStation 4 which has such a weak processor. So even if you get some low B model that couldn't muster more than 100 megabytes per second for some reason, it'd still be far better than the mechanical hard drive thanks to its unparalleled IOPS and seek time performance. So what about SSHDs, aka solid state hybrid drives? I don't have one to test, but it'd be a fair enough in between, although you shouldn't expect gains like you see here. SSHDs typically have 4 or 8 gigabyte worth of NAND flash, which is considerably less than, say, 100% of your SSD. However, you can score a 2 terabyte SSHD for about 100 bucks, so it's worth going with if you either can't stomach SSD prices or need a lot more storage than what an SSD can avail. As you've been able to see from the results here, using an SSD with Destiny 2 doesn't prove to be game changing, but the gains are notable nonetheless. 10 seconds off of every load screen will add up quick. Maybe 5 minutes tonight, or 3 hours by the time the first expansion pack gets here. Ultimately, it's really up to you to decide if these kinds of gains are worth it, and it's understandable if you don't. As I said before, SSDs are still a bit of a luxury, especially for things like game consoles which can't even fully realize the power of faster storage due to the modest processor. Still, gains are there for the taking. 
Those who end up buying solid state drives for their consoles are probably from the same breed that buys the biggest graphics cards for their PC whenever they come out. If you have the money, load time gains like those seen here could be justified. In the original Destiny, inventory load times were the bane of many existences. Those playing on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 had to endure abysmal load times, but those on modern consoles didn't fare a great deal better. When I did my PS4 load time test last year, I found that the inventory screen saw a rather notable improvement when using an SSD over a hard drive. And while we're talking about one second differences at best, they were definitely felt in game. In Destiny 2, Bungie clearly made some improvements to the inventory screen, as the gains are simply not as grand as they once were when using an SSD. That's ultimately a great thing, because while hard drive owners will still have weaker load times, the inventory screen won't suffer much at all, at least not to the degree of the first game. Hopefully by now, you should understand better whether or not you want or need an SSD for Destiny 2. If you have any further questions, comments, or happen to find yourself in a fit of rage, feel free to hit up the comments below.